we just gonna put y'all down right here i'm at the gas station getting some gas right now but youtube what is good this is low-key fashion aka Corey dweller and i am back with another video i know it's been a minute since i came in with the intro low-key fashion y'all probably looking at the name on youtube like oh you went back i'm gonna get into that a little bit later but we are on our way to do some vintage shopping we're gonna hit a couple thrift stores and, and vintage shops or whatever like that that's the plan for the video i already got some pickups so don't trip if I don't find shit at these stores like I'm not fit, I'm not trying to speak that into existence though because I'm trying to find some fire I need some more fire if I don't find some I still do got pickups I do want to show y'all that I had over the past couple months since I've been gone man I know I've been gone but I've been working behind the scenes man yeah man I'm gonna holla at y'all when I pick up one of my friends and then we're gonna head to the thrift let's get it mm, that's pretty fire I like this Huh. They got the RSVP in here. They got the Cole Bennett RSVP. Oh, that's what? That's that's his clothing line. Nah, that's just his brand. Brand new face. RSVP is a they own clothing line. Jay Z Stadium Tour. I like this text. This remind me of like some old Cash Money shit. Oh, no limit soldiers type shit. Hey, bro, remember Ed Hardy? Ed Hardy. Remember Ed Hardy, bro? Cold. Yo, where's some Ed Hardy right now? No. They got the uh, Le John. Pretty boy Floyd. Yeah, that Mayweather shirt hard, though. I don't like he got his shirt off on the front of that motherfucker. Though. That shit cap. That shit bad cap. This some freaky Lil John vibes. What? Come on, G. I don't know about that. That's for the hunter. That's for the hunter. That's for the hunter. Yeah, rock that. With the mic. Some reason. G, stop playing. I'm talking about I see you wearing that. All right, what y'all think about the vintage Nike shirts? I actually like the vintage Nike. I actually like this. It's not doing too much. I was gonna get the Marilyn Monroe, but it's an XL, and I just can't fuck with it. Too big. All right, the next store we finna go into, store called Rad Vintage. Never been here before. The last store had a lot of decent stuff, but they ain't really have my size. They had a whole lot of XL. And vintage clothing, I cannot wear an XL. I can get away with the large, and maybe a medium if it didn't shrink a bunch, but uh, yeah, we finna go in the store. Hey, hey, you looking for the real? Yeah, I'm right here. The whole summer I finesse, I feel it's my year. Cold summers, I'm a mess, bring the ice here. Dark shades, how the paint cover my tears. Through the mirror, I see, I see you working on me. I see that clothing ain't cheap. They close the curtains on me. This change is froze up on me. You finna get you some toys, folks? He want him some toys. The last store we was in, they kept it like hip hop with their vintage, you know? Opposed, like I seen a couple like motorcycle tees and shit, but like, yeah, this more diverse. Killer Rabbit. Well, they got a whole lot of these Obama shirts. Well, look at that. I've yet to see a nigga with an Obama shirt on. Well, yo, look, what you trying to try for? You trying to try for them? One bone. Bro, them bitches not good. That's what one buck. You finna, you finna win them. Really, I'm going for the hat at the bottom. I'm not gonna lie. The hat? I'm going for the hat. Yeah, they got a lot of Kelly shirts. Rock that joint. You right? Yeah, I Nah, let's go. Look at the hat. You know he owes some freak vibes. Down low to it. Come on, man. You guys know the vibes, man. Never been here before, but you guys know the vibes. Steak, tacos, and rice. You know it. He knows. Get some tacos too. You finna get the burrito. I'm finna get the burrito. Go the burrito route. Fuck. Oh, we did last time. That's why I said, bro. Burrito was soggy as hell. We get tacos. Get your ass a stuffed football. We got the good steak tacos. That's how, it, bro. That's some black shit. I ain't even gonna lie. Bro. Whenever you go to the taco joint, black people always get the steak tacos. 
I'm not real. even gonna lie. Then they got the rice that came in the spiritual bowl. Rice that came in the spiritual bowl. Bowl from the islands. Bowl from Lost. What are you talking about? Hand carved. But yeah, you guys know the vibes. Damn, man, it's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute since I, since I sat down and talked with y'all. But man, I told y'all that I had some pickups I wanted to share with y'all. I did end up buying some pickups out at the um, vintage shops or whatever. So the first shirt I wanted to show y'all was from Rad Vintage. It was the last store I was just in. It is an O'Neill vintage shirt. This shirt was 30 bucks. Good sizing, bro. It kind of fits oversized. This is a large. Like I said earlier in the video, a lot of things that they had was dope. Was either one, very expensive, or two, just wasn't my size. They had a lot of XL. Compared to the prices of the other shirts and shit, bro, this was definitely a cop. So if you look back at the video, bro, you see all them fire-ass shirts that was on the wall. It was like vintage, like Tupac shirts and um, old Jay-Z shirts. And they wanted like 300 bucks for them, right? Bro, I'm just starting to think. All that shit on the walls and stuff, bro, that shit is just like decoration or some shit, bro. It's just store cap, bro. Like... Nobody's finna buy this shirt for 350. So I'ma hang it up on the wall to make my store look cool. If you're dumb enough to spend 350 on the shirt, cool. We'll just replace it with something else. Bro, this is decoration, bro. Don't buy this shirt. You feel me? This shirt is up here by the ceiling. Bro, don't buy this, bro. This is decoration. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's how I feel about them vintage shops. Anyways, on to the next pickup. I picked this up from the thrift store. This is a plain blue navy vintage shirt. I don't know where Brandon says. This actually says vintage T. This might be from like old navy from like 2005 or some shit. I don't know, bro, but um, it's an oversized navy vintage shirt, bro. This reminded me of something that like Jerry Lorenzo would wear, bro. This shirt was only $3 at the thrift store, so um, this shirt looks good. I could throw this on with the burgundy. You know, if I want to pull out the burgundy cap, and cap on them with the burgundy. This shirt looks good with the burgundy. This shirt looks good with pretty much everything. I can wear light blue denim with this, black. Shit, I can even pull off my grays and, and everything with this. This shirt is definitely gonna get some wear out of me this summer. Um, oh yeah, one more thing, man. Wash the, wash the shirts, man. Don't think I'm putting this on straight out the thrift or straight out the, the vintage shop, bro. This shit, wash and dry this shit, bro. If you wearing clothes fresh out of a thrift or fresh out of, um like a vintage shop or something, bro. You a different nigga, bro. All right, y'all, so the next three things I show y'all isn't from a thrift store, isn't from vintage shop. They're new, but they're still considered vintage pieces. Um, I found this shirt online. It was like a website, kind of like eBay and um, Grail, kind of one of those sites, right? It said early 2000s vintage tee. I seen the graphic, the shirt looked vintage, right? Bro, this shirt is a brand new shirt, bro. It just has like the vintage looking um, screen print on the front, which is very fire, right? But I still wanted the shirt to have that vintage look. Now this just looks like um, it has like a vintage screen print on the front, but it's on a new black tee. You know what I'm saying? It is a size large. I'm not too mad because I only paid 20 bucks. So I won't be promoting him on this video just because he kind of sent me off i thought i was buying a vintage shirt but he sent me a new shirt with a vintage design on it so um but if you want a shirt like this um just hit me up on instagram or something i'll send you the link but no i'm very satisfied with this shirt the only thing i don't like about the shirt other than the fact that it wasn't vintage is the double design front and back it's literally the same thing on the front and the back man um honestly he could have just went with something super plain on the front big design in the back and this shit would have been fired nigga i would have been very 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 satisfied but 22 bucks come on man this shirt is fire look at all the designs bro look at all the detail look at the blur of the cards man the cards are in motion come on man i don't really like clowns like that and shit man but uh yeah man this shit is fire man look at the detail and let me know down below if you like this shirt did i take an l with this shirt just because of the double Man, I ain't take no ills, man. We ain't taking no ills. But so this next shirt I'm gonna show y'all is a vintage long sleeve. This is actually from Barney's New York. If you don't know what Barney's New York, it's just like a super high end um, designer clothing store, basically, bro. Um, and I picked this shirt up from there for eighty dollars, bro. This is a vintage long sleeve shirt. So what you are looking at right now is a finesse. 
right? I picked up this shirt for 30 bucks. Vintage, has that vintage look and all. Screen print pretty much looks the same. Just more going on. Big logo on the back. And then look at this long sleeve. It just has this on the front, 80 bucks. You know what I'm saying? More than two times the cost. This is just the long sleeve, man. So, but like I said, man, earlier in the video, you ain't always gotta spend a whole lot of money to look nice, bro. That's that's pretty much like the same type of shirt, bro. One's 80, one's 30. All right, so the last thing I picked up is this cargo vest from ASOS. I paid, I think it was $50 for this vest. This is a cargo vintage vest. ASOS, they just sell a bunch of fucking different brands and shit, right? They got G-Star, Puma, Nike, all that shit. Um, I guess this is the brand name, Reclaim Vintage. This is a cargo vest. I really like this vest. It was something very different. Kind of gives you like that military look. Just like, I don't know, it just gives you like a different vibe. I don't have no footage with me in this vest, but I'll put up some photos right now so you guys can see how it looked. Like I said, I paid 50 bucks for this vest. I am satisfied with this. This is super fire, something super different. I would not wear this without a shirt on under it, bro. You're gonna look like jaw rule or some shit bro just not a good look bro it's bad cap don't do that those are my vintage pickups um for y'all man hopefully you guys enjoyed the pickups hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys are still rocking with your boy i appreciate everybody still showing love it's been your boy low-key fashion man i appreciate all the love all the support i know i be going ghost for a little bit but man i appreciate everybody still rocking with me man it's been your boy low-key fashion Corey dweller man i'ma holla at y'all in the next video man Peace.